What happened to El Huero MP? Let's find out. So I've seen a whole bunch of videos of this fool from getting arrested to boxing to working construction. So a lot of things go on with this dude. And if you check his TikTok page, he has 2.7 million followers. Sometimes, al neta, me pregunto, like, what's the appeal of all these TikTokers? Sometimes suben puras mamadas. And I begin to question why people like this type of stuff. But I guess it's the new generation. I don't know. But vamos a ver. Let's dig in. So some of his most recent uploads is him boxing. So I don't know if he has some boxing matches coming up. I don't know if he wants to box some other TikTokers and make a show out of it. Because that's what I've seen other YouTubers and other TikTokers start to do. So I'm guessing this is what they're trying to do. But I don't know. Let's find out. So right here he posts, con quien me los pongo, like saying who should he fight. And that's why I think they're probably going to do an event later on with other TikTokers to kind of make money off of that. Right here it says trying to practice for the other security. Because I've seen some video where some security guard takes him down. Fuck, it's pretty embarrassing. But let's check other comments. This one says, Weto will get revenge with the cop that arrested him. <laughs> this fool says he should have stated construction so as you can see there's a lot of people watching him and a lot of people criticizing what he does but i gotta give him credit this fool knows how to get the views and how to get the comments so let's check out more videos <laughs> I mean, he took it with the padding, so let's find out what he could take it without. Chickened out, bro. <laughs> just kidding, I wouldn't take a punch either. At least learn how to throw a punch, bro. You're just swinging at that shit. Leave a comment down below. What do you think his next plans are? What do you think he's planned? Who do you think he should fight? Leave a comment below. Let's look at more videos. All right, so here's one of the videos where we could see him working in construction. And I've seen a lot of people criticizing him. Like, why are you working construction if you have all this fame and stuff? And like, why not, dude? Like, if you have all this free spare time, what else are you going to do, dude? You got to dedicate your life to something, right? This dude works. <laughs> he's out there hustling online he's out there hustling in construction he works for his money dude so you can't really criticize him for that so as you can see most of his videos are basically relating to the Takwache movement he's one of the reasons why the Takwache movement spread so much even though a whole bunch of people hate on him like he helped spread that awareness around it i didn't know what a Takwache was until i started seeing him on tiktok and stuff and basically it's just stuff that Takwaches could relate to like trucks music lifestyle like right here we just see him washing this truck and it has like more than a million views <laughs> Fíjate en un pinche tacuache trabajando y se puede caer y nomás lo hace para la pinche mamalona, para la mama whisky. No, dicen que el tacuache se la pasa en la casa. Okay. Pues cómo se van a hacer los pagos para la mamalona? I mean, so as you can see here, he's basically saying that he works construction so he could have that nice truck and honestly, it's a nice truck. Algo que te quiero decir es que if you're just going to go out and buy a truck just to show off to people who don't give a fuck about you, then like what's the point, honestly? But if you're into trucks, then why not, dude? It's your money. Go for it. Do whatever the fuck you want. por andar con la pinche tóxica. Hey, esta parte. That's why I begin to question all those taquaches and, and this type of content because honestly for me it's boring like it's just him washing a truck and I wonder why it has so many views. Honestly in my opinion I think there's other people out there producing better content that actually is funny or that actually helps you out in a way like um, what Jairo Cuates, Raul Jimenez, El Magallanes like these fools they're actually putting in work to teach you stuff but then i see this type of content and i'm like what the fuck how do they have so many more views and so many more followers but oh like whatever dude <laughs> i guess we just gotta live with it y pues aquí voy a acabar este video if you guys liked it please leave a like comment down below share this video and don't forget to shop at requintazo.com for all your guitar needs use code requintazo para recibir 10% de descuento on your next purchase and i'll see you in the next video
Later.